Hello and welcome to the One World Accuracy System, OASIS. We have created a set of videos which will guide you through the OASIS functionality. In this video, I will show you how to submit results for EQA programs that allow reporting with multiple assays. These include our nucleic acid programs and some of our serology programs. Once you have logged into your OASIS account, you will need to click on the test event dashboard icon. In the test event dashboard, you will see all the programs that your laboratory subscribes to. Select the program that works with different assays. In this video, we will use HIVC 435 HIV serology as an example. Click on the red arrow under the results column. The first tab, assay registration, should now be blue. If the tab is red, then registration information is missing and you will not be able to enter results. Please complete the registration. For assistance on registration, please see our video registration for programs using assays. If the example conditions tab is red, then the next step is to enter the sample conditions. Select the date that the samples were received and answer the mandatory questions. You may enter comments relating to the sample conditions if you wish. This information will be reviewed during the evaluation process. For programs that are shipped on a yearly basis, the answers are pre-populated based on the answers provided for the first test event. Once all mandatory questions have been answered, the tab turns blue and the assay results tab becomes active. Click on the assay results tab to continue. Click on the select assay icon. The assays that are shown are the assays that have been added in the assay registration tab. If an assay you are using does not appear, please return to the assay registration tab to add the assay. Please note that all assays you are using for all test processes should be registered here. Select an assay and click continue. In this part of the submission process, you are required to give the information regarding the assays and their respective runs. For serology programs, after you pick the assay, you must choose the type of testing that the assay was used for. Example, screening, supplemental, and confirmatory. For NAT programs, the type of testing is not required. Select the number of runs and replicates for this assay. Please press Add Run To to add an additional run. Fill in the remaining assay information. For NAT programs, only one run and one replicate is needed. Results must be submitted for at least one assay and for one run and replicate. All additional assays, runs, and replicates are optional. However, if a second assay is added, then results for at least one sample are required. Therefore, if you submit results for a screening assay and a confirmatory assay, it is not necessary to submit results for every sample on the confirmatory assay. The same is true for your additional runs and replicates. Press exit if you want to finish the process of submitting results at another time and go back to the test event dashboard. Complete these steps for each assay used. To add your next assay, click on Select Assay. You may add an additional replicate at any time by clicking on the plus sign next to Replicate 1. To remove a replicate, click the X button. You may also edit the assay information by clicking on the Edit Assay icon. You may remove your second assay at any time by clicking on the X. Enter your results for each assay, run, and replicate as necessary. The analytes with a blue star are mandatory. All interpretations for serology programs are qualitatively reported. Please pick from the drop-down menu the interpretation for the respective sample. Results are saved as soon as you leave a cell. 
Click on the next sample to keep submitting the individual results and interpretations. A red sample icon indicates that not all mandatory results have been entered. A blue sample icon indicates that all mandatory results have been entered. The assay name turns blue when all mandatory results have been entered for an assay. The assay results tab turns blue when all mandatory results have been entered for all assays. To enter an analytical problem, click on the yellow exclamation sign that is located to the right of the results window. Analytical problems should only be entered if you were unable to get a value. Click on the pencil if you wish to enter a result instead. If you have a comment, please click on the yellow square that is below the words assay interpretation. Results with comments are identified with a yellow square with black lines in it. Once you have entered results for all assays, if there are final interpretations available for the program, click on the Final Interpretations tab to continue. Final Interpretations is available for serology programs only. Enter results for the Final Interpretations. Once complete, all samples will be blue and the Final Interpretations tab will also turn blue. You are then finished and may exit. All results may be edited at any point up until the results deadline. For additional assistance, we invite you to view our other support videos in our support center. Thank you for watching and we hope that you found this video helpful. We appreciate any feedback you may have on our videos. Please email us at support at oneworldaccuracy.com.